What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Barber Jace back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to Basic Barbering Breakdown. Jeez! Cool, in this video I'm gonna break down how to do a beard trim. Also, I'm gonna show you how I use the razor, samurai style. I've got my client here, Wassi, in the chair. I've just finished his haircut, giving him a fresh, exclusive Barber Jace trim. He's looking fresh, I just need to sort out the beard for him, yeah? So, before sitting him back into position, I normally take off the neck tape so I can get to the hairs on the neck. Also, for the gown, I loosen the gown slightly because when he sits back, it's going to tighten up a little bit, yeah? So you don't want no clients passing out in your chair. Well, I've got my headrest here. I know I want to place this headrest just below the occipital bone. You don't want it too high, otherwise he can't look up. You want it, so put your head forward a little bit. You want it just below the occipital bone so you can look a little bit further up. So you can get to the hairs at the bottom of the neck. Also for my client's beard, he likes the length of it, he just wants to neaten up. So I might just give it a little beard trim, maybe just clean up around the edges, taper it around the edges. Also at the top of the beard here, he likes a nice sharp point. And we're gonna touch up the tash, make it look nice and sharp, and just nice up the thing for him basically, and make sure we use a razor to create them nice, sharp, crispy lines. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this beard trim, I'm gonna take it down to the desired length first before I start shaping it up. So normally there's loads of different techniques, I could go over it with a with a guard, but in this specific beard trim, I'm gonna do a bit of free handing with my clippers. I'm just gonna use my clipper, no guard, fully closed, and I'm just gonna take out all of them little bits poking out. Make sure you keep combing it out, keep resetting the hair. So freehand the shape is a really good technique because a lot of people's beards, they grow out quite curly. It's almost, almost like Afro hair, so to shape it with a bit of freehand is a perfect way to shape the beard into a round shape or a square shape. So I'm just gonna kind of round it, take out all the little wispy hairs to give the beard a stronger shape. Cool, at the bottom here, I'm gonna line it up nice and sharp. So what you wanna do to create a nice sharp line you want to taper it. So using my comb at a 45 degrees angle, I'm just going to take out any hairs that are hanging over the hairline. And this is a very important step of a beard trim. Even if the client has a really long beard, it's nice to taper out the bottom so the hairs on top here can sit down. Cool, so on the sideburns here, I'm going to fade it out slightly because he wants it pointed. I'm not going to fade it out completely. I'm going to keep it maybe a number 1.5 at the top and fade it into the length at the bottom there, yeah? So, starting from the top, I'm using my 1.5 guard, taking it down, opening it, and I'm going slightly lower. The, the longer I go, the lower I can go on the sideburns. And number two, take it slightly, slightly lower. And then a number three, just below the ear, and that should blend into the length. As you can see right now I'm going with the growth. This should just lay the hairs down nice and flat without taking it too short and it should blend into the length at the bottom. Over here I'm going to do the same technique but I'm going to start from the longest length and I'm going to blend down into the shortest length. So start over, starting with a three. I know I took my number three to around the bottom of the ear on the other side so I'm going to do the same on, the, on this side. So that's how I kind of create like a little guide. I look at different parts of the face and I line it up, create a guide there and I can repeat the same on the other side. Two and a half and two. And I'm working up. So I'm going shorter with my guards, but I'm taking it higher on the sideburns. Kind of like a reverse fade. I like to give the beard a scissor finish if it's longer like this. So after taking it down with my clippers, removing most of the bulk with my, with my machine, I use my scissors to give it the finishing look. Gives it a softer finish and it grows out a lot softer. So I'm just doing a bit of scissor and comb, taking off the ends, taking off the tips. 
into the cup. So he wants it cleaner, but he doesn't want it too short. So I'm gonna go with the longest guard on the tash, which would be a number 1.5 on the tash. Yeah, this will still keep it quite dark and it won't go too short. If I go over two, the teeth of the guards are too long. So I might end up going up his nose. You can't cut, you can't really cut the tash with a number two or a three. So I'm gonna go in with a number 1.5. Got that thing, bro? Yeah. Normally I start with it open just to remove the bulk, see what it's saying. And then to, in the middle here, I close it and I just use a corner of my clipper away from the nose to catch the hairs. So if the client wanted it a bit longer, I could use my comb and just trim it with a bit of clipper over comb. Um, or if he wants it shorter, I'll go with a 1.5 guard, or you could even go down to a 1 or even a 0 0.5 if he wants it shorter. Cool, so now that the length of the beard is done, I'm going to move on to shaping up the edges, the outlines. So start. I like to start off behind the sideburns, keeping it nice and natural to the hairline. You don't want to take it in. And you can even use your comb to do a bit of tapering on the edges. This will just make the beard trim last a little bit longer. And you'll get your outlines a little bit sharper as well. Cool, moving to the bottom. I'm just gonna follow that natural line there. At the bottom here, sometimes you don't know how high to take it. I normally take it just above the Adam's apple for a sharp line. Some people like it jawline if they don't have a lot of hair at the bottom. Or some people like it natural, depends on the natural hairline of the client. But right here, just above the Adam's apple is cool. So while I'm on this side, I might as well touch up the tash. Just above the lips. Touch up this little sole patch here. Give it a little shape. Keep it natural. And at the top of the tash, you don't want that tash too thin. Nice and natural. At the top of the beard here, you're thinking, why am I not shaping it up? I can take off any excess hairs, but I don't really take it in too deep with the trimmers. I'll leave that for the razor work. When I'm doing the other side, I always step back, check these two points, if they're the same. The two corners, make sure they match, and then connect it into the middle. Keep it natural. So now I'm going to do my razor work right here. I've got my Balance razor. Shout out to Balance. Look at me up with this razor. Best in the market right now, yeah? Make sure you use Chopstick 20 for 20% off. Link in description. Jeez. 
cool. So using my razor, I've got a Derby blade here, single blade. Put this in carefully, make sure you don't cut yourself. This is where most of the accidents happen when you're loading up the blade. So place it in there. You see them two little points, them two little nipples slots the blade in right there. That's how we like it. Carefully put that on top and put it away nice and safe until you're ready to use it. From Easy Blade, shout out to Easy Blade. And I'm just gonna apply it just on the hairline there. I always keep a little bit there at the back of my hand. If it dries out, I can top it up straight away. So now I'm going to start off at the top. Front hairline, just keeping it nice and natural. Make sure you hold it at a 35 to 45 degrees angle. Make sure you use your thumb to stretch the skin. And we're going to make it nice and sharp at the top. Go that for me, bro. Put some air in it. Tell the client, just gives the skin a bit more tension, easier to shave. After you've shaved it, take the excess hairs out and then touch it up one more time. Top of the tash, bit backhand, keeping the blade 45 degrees. When you're shaving as well, try and use the back of the blade if you can, instead of using the tip, you've got a little bit more control. As you can see, we dropped the fade at the front. So we've got a nice, dark, strong hairline. And that is how Barber Jace does a beard trim. 